Welcome again to our series um, Lucidity on the Cisen Culture. Today I'm going to talk about perfection, arrogance, and failure. The Shisen used to say that we must allow a space to failure to happen, to be human, because we all are human. And if we don't understand this idea, we fall into a wrong duality conception, a conception that demands from us to get more, to, to achieve, to never fail, constantly. And uh, maybe it's not letting us understand that everything come at its time, never before, never after. After all, at the end of the day, as probably you have heard so many times, failure is the path to success. This is a common phrase, but we have to, to, make, it, to make it ours and to understand that this path is made of bricks and these bricks are failure. Different moments in which we uh, have failed and that construct our success. There is no way to do it all the other way. For centuries, humans have been learning and adapting out of failure. All great people have, this, have done this. All the rest is just an hallucination of your mind. This is quite common. It's an idea that you have probably heard many times in many philosophies, many cultures, and even in modern coaching. But today I want to go deeper. I want to go inside the roots, where's the seeds of all this misconception. And maybe you will be surprised when you understand that what is behind of all that is arrogance. Arrogance, it's, it's the common origin of all this misconception. Why arrogance? Because on your mind, if you fall into this lack of lucidity, you are understanding, you are sub understanding subconsciously that you can't fail. Others can. They are normal. They are inferior. They are what they are. But you cannot because you, because you are better. Because you are superior. Because you are in a... In a in a different level. This is quite absurd. Maybe you think subconsciously that you are a god, that maybe you can go jump the window and fly. This is absurd. Probably it's not conscious and you are just giving that as understood unconsciously, but it's absurd and it's a contradiction because every illness has inside it uh, a contradiction. We will talk about that on other videos. But this is not the worst thing, this is not the ugliest thing. The ugliest thing is that when you fall into this lack of lucidity, you start looking for guilt. You start looking for guilty parties, for the ones that must carry with all the guilt because you cannot stand to be the one who's failing because you can't because you are not that you are better you start forging absolute values you start if you are in group if you are leader in if you are a leader of a group or a situation if you start destroying everything because that thing you cannot get to you, you cannot understand, you cannot understand, you, you, can, you cannot wear it, you start um, throwing it to the others for you to, to, to feel better. And it's quite normal that perfectionist mind, arrogant mind, comes with performance and with, in, with intelligence. And uh, that makes it really dangerous because then perfection arrives to a level of 
perfect destruction. We have seen this in history many times. Maybe the last one was the Nazi um, understanding of the world. This kind of arrogance that made everything burn. You know that Holocaust etymologically means all fire. This is destruction for everyone. Beauty is that each one has his or her idea of perfection. This is an idea that struck deep, deep inside the everyone's mind. Because the everyone's mind understands that there is only one way to do things. There is only one way, one definition of good, and it's normally theirs. And uh, it's quite shocking for them. But if you think in, in art or if you think in business, I like talking about business because when you talk about art, it's quite common and it, it's quite easy for any mind to understand that this is, this is a place where anything can happen. But, but it's easier, it's more difficult to understand it if we talk about business. Because we think that there's only a one way to do, to do things right about money and about people and about business. And it's not. You can, you can think about any sector and pick up two companies on the sector. And, uh, and uh, it's quite common that they have absolutely different strategic views, strategic conceptions, and even a conception of, of, of the world, of their clients, and of how things can, done, can be done properly. Years ago, just for example, Microsoft and Apple were totally opposite ways of thinking perfection, of thinking the idea on the definition of good. Just uh, even Linux, it's a completely different conception. And probably Microsoft and Apple are the two biggest companies during a long, long time, and, and both of them have been really successful. And I'm sure if you ask them, if you ask any of their employees what's good, what's right, it's quite, quite, quite different in any of their conceptions. So go beyond. Don't become your worst enemy. Don't put yourself in situations that you cannot win in any case. You are human and this is liberating. Don't be arrogant. When you are suffering because you don't arrive to do the things you want to do, when you need more and more and more, you're activating your survivor uh, instinct. We were talking about this on other videos before. And this survival instinct is taking, is trapping your mind and it's not allowing your mind to go to its full, to its fullest uh, development. So just reflect a bit on this and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much.